y'all what's up i'm glad you guys were able to join me for another week and i'm glad to be able to talk again because last week was not any fun thanks for sticking around though i really appreciate it so this week we are going to decoupage a, a table that i actually found at a thrift store it was the same thrift store i found the table that we ended up like completely uphauling a few weeks ago and this table was also only five dollars the rest of the materials were not that expensive either the mod podge i ended up getting a big bottle because you need a lot for this project because that is how you get the images to adhere to the table now you want to take your time with this project and my biggest suggestion for it is the pictures that you're going to end up using to decoupage the top of the table i would suggest that you go ahead and set up the layout that you want so that that way when you get ready to actually start adding the mod podge you already have your layout ready i did not do that <laughs> and so it took me a little bit longer um, going through and trying to find the specific pictures I wanted in each individual place so that would be my only thing that I would have done differently with this DIY other than that the rest of the DIY is pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you at the end We're going to start off by sanding down the table legs. You just want to make sure that you can remove any of the waxy covering from the original wood. That way the spray paint will adhere better. Once you finish doing all your sanding, make sure to wipe off all the dust. And if any of the table legs are loose like mine was, go ahead, take your screwdriver and just tighten up the legs. That way the table will be extremely sturdy. Once the legs are secured, go ahead and spray paint your table legs and underside of your table. That way you can give it a fresh new look. I went with this pretty blue color and it really added to the final product. Make sure that you use even sprays and don't get too close. That way you can avoid drippage down the legs. Leave it to dry overnight or up to 12 to 24 hours so the next thing that you're going to want to do is get all of your pictures together and ready to add to the table with the mod podge now you also want to make sure that you clean off the top of the table before you start and make sure that you make sure that it's dry don't start with the table being wet because it will affect the end product then what you want to do is go through find the pictures that you want cut them out and I would definitely like I said in my intro suggest that you do a kind of pre Mod Podge layout so that that way you can see what the table will look like I freehanded it and it definitely took me a lot longer but you'll want to start by putting the Mod Podge down on the table surface first and then applying a coat of the Mod Podge over the individual pictures. Now you want to make sure that you pay specific attention to the edges so that that way they will stay down and not come up during the process. So you'll continue to Mod Podge the table and then Mod Podge over the pictures making sure that you pay specific attention to the edge of the table you want to make sure that you overlap and work with any inside cuts on the table this is what the table looks like still wet but you want to then go through and cut off any overlapping edges so that that way the table is smooth and then you want to use Mod Podge to go over the edges that way nothing comes up once the Mod Podge dries, you want to take your clear acrylic sealer and just spray even coats over the top of the table 
and this is what really seals in the Mod Podge and gives you a lasting top for the table. And here's the finished product. What do you guys think? I really like the turnout of this table. The pictures all go together so well and it's another showcase of how beautiful nature is. The blue of the table legs actually really complements the top of the table that it was decoupage. And I really love the different variations of the pictures that I was able to put on top. From the actual hand drawings to the pictures of the flowers, it just goes so well and it's really gorgeous. What do you guys think? Make sure to leave me a comment below and tell me what you guys think and if you would try this. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. It was a lot of fun once I actually got the layout I wanted on the table and the turnout of it was really nice and really pretty. It kind of gave me that old school antique kind of feel like something that maybe your parents or your parents' parents would have had in their homes. And I really liked the way that it turned out. It was my first time doing decoupage and it's really simple of a process. Like I said in the beginning, you just want to make sure you lay out the pictures that you want to actually go ahead and glue down because you want to have that layout ready to go and it makes the whole process go a lot quicker and a lot smoother. And the sealant really adds in a very nice coating to the top. That way you can um, use it in your homes. And I would suggest though using coasters if you're going to put drinks on there. Because yes it is sealed in and I haven't used the table enough yet to see if any liquids would leak through the sealant. But just as a precaution I would use a coaster if I am going to put this in a high use or high traffic area in your home. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again this week. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos as much as I've enjoyed making them. And if you have, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and share it with all your friends. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next week. And make sure that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a great week as well. All right, guys, keep creating, and I'll see you next week. Bye.